Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about the Protractor tool. The Protractor tool is another tool that lets you do multiple things with one tool. So the two things the Protractor tool is going to let you do is check the angle between two edges or two, two points or lines that you want to draw with the Protractor tool. That works too. And the second is to put guides in at specific angles. So we're going to take a look at using both of them right now. All right, first let's check some angles on here. So I got a couple spots. Maybe we want to check this angle here, this angle here, verify that this is 90 degrees, that kind of thing. Uh, we would do that with the Protractor tool. So here's the Protractor tool. The Protractor tool is not part of the default tool set. You will have to hit the ellipse and pick Protractor tool from in here. Uh, there are some options here. The biggest thing is the locking. So if I'm going to pull a dimension, it's probably going to be ideal to lock into a dimension. All these dimensions I want to pull are on the green axis, so I would probably keep that lock Y turned on. There's a couple options also up here on the top. Uh, delete all guides and turn off guides. I'm going to turn them off. I don't want to create guides right now. Right now I'm just checking dimensions. So let's look at how to do that. Let's go ahead and start with just draw mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the center of where I want to, you know, center my, my angle, which would be this point right here. And I'm just going to drag in one of the directions. So I'm going to click right here and drag down this line. Then I'm going to go back up and drag up this line. And it's going to tell me the angle between those two points. So again, locked on the green axis. I'm just going to click here, drag down, and then drag up here. And it tells me what the angle is between those two points. Very similarly, click, move, click is going to allow me to, I'm going to pick the middle point and then move in the direction. And then again, just move in another direction and click, and it's going to give me the angle between those two points also. Right there, 144.5 degrees. I do the same thing with my finger too, so if I don't have my, my uh, awesome Apple Pencil, I can turn the inferencing on. I can long press on a point and drag, and then same thing, come up, and there, sure enough, 90 degrees. And then of course, same thing, works exactly the same way with my mouse. So I'm gonna click on one point, move in a direction click, move down another direction click, and it's gonna tell me the angle there. Now, if I want to use this command to go in and put a guide in at a specific spot, I'm gonna turn hide guides off, and I come in here, I can start by clicking up the, my, my reference angle. And then as I start to move around that compass, around the protractor down there, I can snap to a specific point. So you can see as I'm snapping each of these stairs, the angle up there is moving. Or I could just kind of click somewhere and then tell it exactly what I want to use. I want to ex use exactly 45 degrees, enter and then it'll jump to that angle. And now I have a guide that I know is exactly 45 degrees from this corner. And that's it, that is really all there is to Protractor, simple. So if you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment down below. Do you use Protractor? Do you use it to check dimensions? Do you use it to place guidelines? What do you use it for? I'd love to hear about it. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.